All right, y'all, welcome back to the Chessboard Ape channel. Let's get this thing started today. We're going to go to the Chessboard Ape channel. We've got 10 videos in here for music streams, all done by myself personally. Let's uh, see if we can get that going in the background. Hopefully not too loud. That's too loud. Let's try somewhere. Let's try somewhere in there. All right, if you guys like that music, go check it out. But it, no, that's still too loud. Let me turn that down even more. Or something like that. This song is pretty good, actually. All right, I wanted to start before we do puzzles today. I wanted to show you how many hours I've worked on puzzles over the years. So you can see right here, get my little pencil deal doohickey. You can see right here, guys. Look, I've done 8,300 puzzles and I've spent 175 hours. January 11th last year, I achieved 2211. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Um, even though I'm 2211, most all of these were done, you guys, while I was drinking beer. I'm not even kidding. Anytime I normally play, I was always drinking beer and goofing off. So what this is telling me is there's way room for improvement since I'm not drinking anymore or playing chess. If I'm going to ever drink, which I'm not because I'm on a fast right now, then uh, I'm definitely not going to be drinking beer. If any of you are guys are adults and you drink beer, uh, and you want to get better, I'd suggest you give it up. Let's also look at um, something else here. I want you guys to notice something. Here's what happens when you don't play um, when you're not serious. Rapid, 792. Daily. This one is pathetic. Daily. This is games that are actually three days long or seven days long. You have that much time to make the move. So when I would get in a funk or get depressed and I would just stop just even looking at chess, I would let my rating drop because I would forfeit the games. I just let the, the clock run out. Stupid. All right. Well, you can obviously see in Blitz, I'm not that good. Could be because I'm older. I don't think as fast. It could be because I'm inexperienced and I just don't know the game of chess well enough. And people that can play faster, they just simply beat me on time. All right. And look at bullet. I mean, my gosh, guys, this doesn't show you anything. I'm terrible at playing fast games. Again, it could be my age. I'm uncertain. But I did want to show you this. Um, you might find you think, man, you you got to 2211 in puzzles. And then why are you showing us 500 ratings? from zero to 500. Well, the reason I'm doing it is because if you're a beginner, uh, that's really where you want to start. And this channel is for beginners, okay? So let, anyway, let's move on. Let's go to puzzles. And remember, there's 56 puzzles here, you all. You're gonna see 56 puzzles there on your right. And what I'm wanting you guys to do is exactly what I'm doing, is pick a theme and go with it, all right? So today, the next thing we're going to do is called the Desperado. So you would think I would be really good at this. Let's change our rating range from 1400. We're going to go from zero to 500. Okay. That's because you guys are just starting off. That's where you want to be. We're going to select Desperado. Remember we selected custom, custom puzzles. Make sure you're under custom puzzles. Again, 56 of these, and you can see how miserably I've done. Past two, failed eight. Yeah, because I don't even know what a Desperado is. I think I better turn that down a little bit more. I don't want it to mess up this video. Kind of. Let's try. Let's try it like that. Maybe that's better. Okay, let's hit Desperado and let's just get into it. Remember what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do 10 perfect puzzles. Before we do that, I want to know, let's come out to Google and ask it, um, Desperado in chess. Okay, what is Desperado in chess? A Desperado tactic happens in chess when a player makes one last advantageous move with a piece that cannot be saved from being captured. The falling piece can take an enemy piece or damage the position of the opponent before being captured. So, okay, like if you look to the far right, I mean, it's kind of a small picture, but if you look to the far right, you can see here, it shows the knight moving to this position. Almost looks like a sacrifice to me. 
right? And then Han takes, and this apparently does something. All right, anyway, enough of that. Let's go back to our actual puzzle. I think I kind of got an idea of what they're wanting me to do. But see, guys, even, even as much as I've done puzzles, I never knew what that meant. All right, so anyway, it's white to move. Duh, right off the bat, we're going, we're seeing this, and check. I have every other piece on the board is locked up. King is showing its butt cheeks right out in front of everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. And this this rook's not doing anything. So if I were playing the game, what would I do? I'm selecting bishop takes queen. Uh-huh. This is called interposing. When another piece gets in the way like this, you all, that normally means you made the right move, and it's doing the only thing it can to stop a checkmate. All right, so let's go ahead and take that piece. Very good. I rated that at 100. All right, let's go on to the next, puzzle number two. So in this example, right off the bat, I see that, I see that, sacking, both of those would sack my queen. I see this piece hanging, and then attacking the queen. And I don't see these guys doing anything, really. So it seems like the two active pieces are right here. I think the question it's gonna it's asking me is, do you want to take that and lose it? Uh, no, not necessarily. <laughs> okay, but if you leave it here and make a move like say like that, then he's gonna take you. True, and when he does, I take his queen. So I get a bishop and a queen for a queen, and then I'm attacking here and here. I'm gonna say that's the move. Let's try it. Correct. Now let's take that queen like we said. Boom, right. Boom, boom. He's gotta do something now. That's great. Again, he said that's about 100. I'm telling you guys, if anything I can tell you about playing puzzles, I learned is, um, doing them over and over again and trying this custom puzzle stick to a theme that that's a bit hard for you and um and try that okay so what do we have we have a check here losing my queen why would i want to do that i would need a dark square bishop to get to this square so that i could threaten check i don't have that yet he's right here okay so let's have a look here Hmm. What do we got here in the corner? A lot of nothing takes. So that wouldn't be anything. See, like I said, this is a 500 rate, zero to 500 rated puzzle. And I've, I've gone uh, as high as 20 to 11. And I'm having a hard time figuring this out because probably I never really learned the fundamentals, right? I did everything off the hip. Um, here's another piece I see, something like this. So we're getting on that square twice. I just don't know if that's too slow. What's he threatening? This? Hmm. I'm going to pause. He's got that right there, threatening the rook on the next move. Takes. This is what I'm looking at now. I'm kind of wondering about... See, I think a lot of times this program wants you to do forcing moves. I wondered, I really wonder about this. Protected here by my pawn. Boom, and I'm threatening that to get him to move away. You can't drop to here because of this but he could just drop back to here and still he's got this knight covered. So I'm uncertain. I'm still uncertain. You could do like a decoy deflection thing we learned here. It looks like it's doing a whole lot of nothing. He slides over and takes. I take check. I don't know, but again, it just seems too slow. What's forcing? The only thing it's forcing I see is this check. 
I mean, they're kind of giving you the clue, aren't they? They're saying, dude, do something or we're going to take you. Not there. They're saying, you're you're being attacked, buddy. You better do something. You can't get out. Okay. Considering everything. I go here, take... Hmm. I'm really stuck. And this is a low rated puzzle, you guys. Okay, I thought about this too long. Um, I really can't understand what it's wanting me to do. I'm guessing it wants me to sacrifice the queen. I don't see it, but let's try it. Okay, that was wrong. Um, Take the bishop. That's wrong. Okay, you guys, let's hit hint. This bishop, man, so I was right. No, I wasn't right. Okay, I'm totally lost. What? Oh, no, no, no. That's the one I chose. That's that's right. Remember, I said I was threatening the queen. I just put it on the wrong square. Shoot. So that was the idea. Chase the queen away. And pick it up here. Check. Man, 413 rated puzzle. I sucked eggs on that one. But anyway, you guys see how it works. Okay, I'm just taking. That's a no-brainer. Done. Yeah, 100 rating. Let's go to the next. Okay, again, haven't we already been here? Uh, that's another thing you'll notice when playing puzzles. You'll notice that a lot of the times what they'll do, whoops, is they'll have you play the um, the same puzzles over and over again, almost till it's like it's in your mind hard. So that last one we had just done, right? Okay, so right off the bat, we're seeing all this. Takes. Take. Almost like a back rank. Then he has to flee to here. Uh, then after that, I don't know. Are there any others? There's sacrifice bishop. For what purpose? Um so that the king queen's not protected i guess i'm gonna go, uh i have to sack the queen mm. the queen for two rooks though is the same they say actually it should be better it's 10 points versus nine let's try it and see what it says okay oh that's it it doesn't want me to go any farther 443 yeah, see, sometimes I'm seeing all of this and then trying to figure out the whole checkmate. Let's move on. Puzzle number seven for today. Right off the bat, we see that. It, like, wasn't this the puzzle we just did? See what I mean? So now we're picking up the pace. So what it's saying is under the Desperado, we've only got a few puzzles here. But you all, I'm telling you what, when I used to do this, here it is again. It wants you to really see this over and over. And then you just start, at least what I do, is I start doing these faster and faster. The reason why, it's because, okay, same thing again. The reason why is I'm focusing on pattern recognition, right? I'm like, I'm seeing the same things over and over. So my brain in a game, if my brain sees it, I'm going to say, hey, I did a puzzle about this. Incidentally, you all, last night I did a um, a review video. It was an hour and 44 minutes. I watched Magnus Carlsen uh, win the championship against Krod Kraj oh man, Kar Karajan. I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Anyway, you guys, what was so incredible about it, at the very end, they showed Magnus when he finally won the game. And what happened was I paused the video and said, let's look at this, you guys. Let's study this. Let's see if we can figure it out. I am not kidding you, you all. I looked at the world chess champion, future chess champion. I looked at, at the position, and I promise you all, you can check out the video. Uh, I'll, I should be releasing it soon. You can check out the video. I saw it like a puzzle and I said, it's a queen sacrifice. I saw the whole thing, you guys. 
the commentators were all saying like, um, you know, what's he going to do now? And then like, blah, blah, blah. and then anyway, Magnus did my move. He did the queen sacrifice. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be it for, th for today on puzzles. You guys, you made a 15 minute video. We got in and out real quick. Um, that's just desperado. Okay. So I guess we have some kind of idea what a desperado is. Um, it looks to me like when you're under attack, attack another piece is the, is the name of the desperado. So we can remember that in our games. If somebody's attacking you, look for another larger piece that you can attack. If they're attacking your rook, see if there's a way you can attack the queen, right? Um, they're attacking your knight. Let's go for a uh, rook. You know, you see what I'm saying? All right. So that'll do it for, th for today. We're going to, we're going to title this under Desperado. You guys enjoy, and we'll see you on the next one.